there is a term called IDE that is integrated development environment now let me tell you that when I say that you are going to build a site when you are going to write the code that means you need to have an IDE IDE is basically a software in which you are going to type the coding right you are going to type the code now you also have online editors as well right for example you have JS fiddle.net so this actually gives you an interface where you can type the HTML CSS and JavaScript you also have codepen.io right this is also an online editor so you click on this and you can start writing the code right there is also code sandbox.io now this actually is very powerful code sandbox because it gives you complete application level interface so you can use any of these but these are online editors and you can save your code here and you can write it anywhere you can edit from anywhere so that's the advantage sometimes that you put your code live right you put your code online but when I say IDE the best IDE for these kind of development one of the best IDE rather is VS code so it's a lighter very lighter version of ID and once you download it this VS code it will look like this this is the VS code right this is where you are going to create the HTML the CSS and various other files as well now I'll quickly brief about what is HTML CSS and JavaScript right whenever you see a page let's say let me open Amazon again any side in fact for that matter right you see that this has some designing right now for designing you may have Photoshop Corel Row or maybe some graphics uh, graphic designers doing this but this arrangement this beautification happens because of CSS so you can say to create the structure you use HTML for beautification you use CSS CSS is basically it's a style sheet right that itself says that it's everything about styling the page and then you have JavaScript let's say on click of this particular item something should happen I click here on see more now see when I say these things accessories now are coming this is done by JavaScript so basically HTML gives the structure CSS helps you to design the page and JavaScript gives life to the page when an item is clicked something should happen that happens with the help of JavaScript let's say you have this text box you type something and it should search that particular data right when you click something should happen this happens because of JavaScript so JavaScript HTML and CSS works hand in hand in any case when you design an HTML page we have to begin that with sort of CSS as well so we are going to see HTML and CSS together right so I just expect that you have some idea about how an HTML page is designed right how CSS is working but let's see if you do not have any idea that's absolutely fine right I'm going to explain you in detail we are learning HTML first of all but this HTML is HTML5 so the structure of HTML page is something like this first you have the doc type then you have the HTML then you have the let's say head section right and then you have the body section this is how it is so this is a very basic structure of HTML you write the doc type this says that this version is HTML5 HTML5 works on semantic tags and what semantic tags are that I'll explain later on at the moment we are just understanding the basic structure here let's say you want to give some title you give it for example I give title this is a title you write it like this right now as long as running this page is concerned I'm 
can open this in any browser. Let's say I open in Internet Explorer, right? You see, this is a title. This is coming here. Next thing, let's say I want to give some tags here. Let's say I give H1, right? H1 is a header tag. Here I'm going to say my first HTML page. I'll just save this, go back to the browser, right? And refresh the page. So you have this page here, display. Now let me open the developer tool here. See this. Again, I pressed Control Shift I and it is Internet Explorer. And you have the elements tab here. You see this? This is inspect element. You click here and click here. So the respective code is displayed, right? And you can certainly align this developer tool wherever you want to. All browsers have this similar interface as long as the developer tool is concerned. Most of the things you will see similar, right? So just have a look at what a developer tool is, right? And how this HTML pages work.